Hello again, welcome to another video. My name is Zach. This week we're going to demo an implementation of the Wraitha platform for conferences and large events. This is typically for associations that might run an annual conference every single year and they need a website that attendees and speakers can go to to see the agenda, what the sessions are. It might be a multi-day event. You might have lots of speakers. You might have sponsors. You might have posters. There's a lot going on for a lot of these conferences and you might need a website to house that content, maybe even recordings of sessions afterwards. And so this video is going to walk through an implementation of what might be a typical conference website for a lot of associations running their annual conference. So we're gonna hit on a lot of points and there's gonna be some things that we're gonna leave out of this video that we might cover in a future video. Uh, but without further ado, let's dive in. All right, the first thing for any conference or event website is the home page. And I went ahead and had ChatGPT create a home page for me that I was able to implement within the Wraitha platform. And it gives us kind of a nice banner, welcome with some imagery, some welcome text, and then also a couple of featured speakers. It's up to you and what you want to do for a home page. Maybe you want a timeline on here. Maybe you want a little bit of the agenda, highlight the keynote speaker as well. This is kind of the, this is really the front door for your conference, if you will. And it's important to have a nice looking home page, but yeah, this is pretty standard, pretty basic, and you have a lot of flexibility as to what you want showing here and do whatever you want. Next page over is sponsors. Now you can control what, however you like the top navigation. You can add more pages here. Maybe you want some information about the hotel, the location, the city, fun things to do in the area, FAQs, rules, things like that for your conference. So there's no limit to how many pages you want within the Wraitha platform is to how you'd like your top navigation to be. You may not even need a sponsor's tab, you may not even need a speaker's tab, for example, but these are just good examples, things that we commonly see. So we're gonna click on sponsors. We just have three sample sponsors in here, and this is a great opportunity to highlight the sponsors. You might have different sponsor levels, like platinum sponsors, and different areas in which you wanna highlight sponsors. Maybe some should be at the bottom of the homepage, for example. Maybe some might be sponsoring a specific session. So we'll get to this in a little bit. But overall, typically you want a sponsor's page that people can go to where they can see a logo, the name, how to contact, some call to action, and maybe location of the sponsor's booth. So there's a, a lot of flexibility as to how you wanna showcase your sponsor sponsors on your website, but it's definitely a good idea to do so because it's a value add and sponsors really like it. Now we'll head over to the sessions page. This is really your conference agenda and arguably the most complicated portion of your conference or event website because you might have multiple days. You also may have lots of different time slots with some sessions happening in parallel. So they'll be running at simultaneously within the same time slot. So you really want this page to make a lot of sense for your visitors. And we really tried to streamline it as much as possible. So it's broken out first by day, which of course you can filter on the day. And you could also have the different days filtered from the top navigation because maybe you want a drop down here at the top that says sessions day one all days day two however you like it so you're not necessarily limited by this filter but you could also have tabs at the top there's different things that you can do but at the gate it's going to be pretty intuitive for the users come in here you can see all the sessions running by day and then by time slot so starting at 9 a.m for example, in these sample sessions, so we have two sessions running. One is 90 minutes long, one is 210 minutes. You could control and have full flexibility as to what information shows up here and different attributes, so different tracks, for example. So if you wanna filter by track, you can certainly do that too. You can have full control over what you want your filters to be. So if you have different attributes that your sessions might have, so custom attributes that are specific for your conference, that you want people to be able to filter by. Uh, certainly doable with the Wraitha platform. And then you can click view session and actually see the session details. If that session is sponsored, you can have more information here, which will again link to that uh, sponsor page. So you get a lot of great stuff out of the box here with the Wraitha platform. 
and you get to see just the general session details. You might have moderators or session chairs. You need all that information displayed on your session details page. Now, some conferences run a little differently than others. So you might have a conference where there's only one presenter and one basically speaker for that entire session. However, there might be other conferences where there's multiple presentations given within each session, one after the other. And it might make sense to have all those presentations listed here. And then you can click read more to see details about that presentation and description, who the speaker or speakers are for that presentation. You can go back to the session. So it really depends on how you run your conference, or you might have a combination as well. You might have some sessions that is just just one speaker only, and it should look different than this. Maybe you don't need that section on those detail pages, but then maybe there are some session types that do have this. So it really depends on the different session types you might have. For example, lightning talks versus presentations versus posters. So you really need to talk to your team that's implementing the Wraitha platform and figure out, okay, how do we want these pages to look? Now let's head up and go to the speakers gallery. So here we get to see anyone who's a speaker on any of the presentations within our conference. This is a grid view. You don't have to have it be a grid view. It could be more of that list view similar to sponsors or we could do it an entirely different way. So this is up to you and how you want your speakers listed. But this is a common way of doing it. And you may just want to collect their headshots, their organization, and then click view profile and then maybe see some more information about it. Maybe you want to see the which presentations they're participating on uh, listed here as well. That's not in this demo, but that might be something that you would like to have. So really, there's a lot that you can do here. If you want, you could even have a list view with a, another filter with a search box on the right and allow people to filter by speakers or search for a specific speaker too. So it really depends on what the needs of your conference are. Finally, what's not shown here is logging into the platform. Depending on how you run your conference and what rules you have around attendee and access levels, you might want to restrict access to the website or maybe portions of the website depending on the attendee access level. So uh, for example, maybe visitors can navigate through the entire website except for the sessions page, which requires you to log in and be an actual registered attendee in order to see this page. That might be one example. Or you might allow everyone to see everything, but once they click view session, they can't actually see the content listed here. You could even take it a step further and allow everyone to get even this far, but only registered attendees get to see certain portions of this page, maybe a recording of the session even, because you have to have proven that you register for the conference in order to access post-conference content and watch playbacks of the actual sessions. So it really depends on what you're looking to do. You can even have access levels broken down by on a per session level. So or per day level, for example, if you want to restrict if attendees can purchase a single day event. So if they purchase only day one, then they only have access to the day one sessions and they can only click into those, but they might get a message saying that they don't have access for day two sessions. So it really depends on, on how you collect attendee registrations and the formatting of your data that you have available to give to your implementation team. Additionally, it might depend on how you want attendees to access this website if you do want to lock it down. For example, if you want to upload a CSV file with all the registration data for each attendee, or you can have a single sign-on with an external system that has the attendee registration there, that would also be possible with your implementation team. You just need to talk to them, see if they can work with that platform that you're already using. We're going to cover access restrictions and logging into a conference website in a future video. So go ahead and subscribe if you find this interesting. And if you think that this type of conference or event website might help you and your organization, feel free to visit Wraitha.com and contact, reach out to us and let us know that you're interested in exploring the solution. And we could point you in the right direction and connect you with some people who might be able to help. Well, thanks again for watching and have a great day.